The children who have traveled thousands of miles will find movies, bouncy balls, and hula hoops waiting for them in the federal compound in Artesia. Inside Fletzi, hallways open to a string of bedrooms. Each bedroom has eight beds, four closets, two desks, and a TV. Every child will be greeted with a brand new toy on their bed and a playroom that will soon have an Xbox. The people housed here will get six to ten outfits for their stay. There are sink rooms, shower rooms, and baby baths. Towels still with tags, shampoo, and diapers await the babies. For the adults, 15 cell phones will be available to make international calls free of charge. A fridge in the hallway will provide 24-hour access to milk, water, and fruit. We have an obligation to care for them, uh, to give them a place to sleep, to give them showers, to give them food, and we're going to do that. This is America, and we treat people humanely. Senior officials would not go on camera, but tell us the people heading here are the survivors of a dangerous journey. People tragically die. It's a perilous journey that people should not take. People should try to enter the country lawfully. Security here is minimal, with detainees free to roam inside and unarmed guards at the doors. Outside, just a fence stands in the way of freedom. We were told if they felt more security was needed, they would have it. You're going to have adults with children that aren't criminals being housed here. Individuals that have criminal backgrounds that we house in other facilities have higher security measures. We have security measures in place that are instituted and we feel that they are adequate. It's expected the immigrants will stay for 10 to 15 days until they're deported. In Artesia, Lauren Hansard, KOBI Witness News 4.